Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, which is your station where you watch and learn. Uh, today we are going to look at uh, chemistry and I'll, your Twitter, Mr. Mwangi Francis, and I will be taking you through structure and bonding where we will emphasize more on covariant, that, that is coordinate, which is also referred to as dative bond, which is our reason three. Previously, we have looked at uh, ionic bond and covariant bond. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to define what is dative bond or a coordinate bond. You'll also be able to illustrate dative bonding using, co uh, using diagrams, and we will also be able to identify substances which have covariant dative bond. Uh, what is a dative bond? A dative bond or a coordinate bond is a bond which is formed as a result of sharing pair of electrons. The shared pair of electrons are from one atom. That is, they are donated by one atom. Examples of compounds that have dative bond include we have ammonium ion, we have hydronium ion and also carbon two oxide also have what we refer to as a coordinate or additive type of bond. Using the following uh, illustration, using hydron hydronium ion, we'll be able to understand how additive bond is formed and we'll be able to see how a single atom donates two electrons to be shared among the two atoms forming the type of bond. Hydronium ion is formed by hydrogen accepting two electrons from what we refer to as uh, water. From the diagram which we have here, you can be able to see that we have a single atom, sorry, just a little bit, uh, from the diagram that we have in this uh, experiment, you can be able to see that hydrogen atom is accepting two electrons which are formed from or which are derived from water. Water contains two hydrogen atoms which are bonded covariantly to one oxygen atom. The hydrogen ion accept the wrong pair of shared electron, therefore forming a covariant or a dative type of bond. Ammonium ion also forms a dative bond where hydrogen ion accepts the wrong pair of electrons and therefore the wrong pair of electrons are accepted by ammonia and that forms a dative bond. Below is the structure of ammonia, gas, and later we look at hydrogen ion. Ammonia, as you can see, it is formed by uh, nitrogen forming three covariant bonds with hydrogen atom each. Up there we have a lone pair of shared electrons, which are the lone pairs that will be donated to hydrogen ion. Hydrogen ion at the center, it contains a single proton and a single electron. By the removal of the single electron, this gives a cation, that is, a positively charged ion. In the energy level of hydrogen ion, we don't have a single electron, yet the ion is stable without electron. So it accepts the wrong pair of electrons in hydrogen up there, and that results to formation of a dative or coordinate type of bond. How do we represent the coordinate or the dative type of bond? In simple diagrams, a coordinate bond is shown by an arrow. The arrow points from the atom donating the wrong pair to the atom accepting the wrong pair of shared electrons. There you can see we have an arrow. And 
overall the compound now becomes positively charged remember it has accepted an ion that is hydrogen so it is positively charged in addition to that when you dissolve hydrogen chloride in water to make hydrochloric acid hydrogen ion is transferred from chlorine to their own pair of the oxygen atom which is bonded to two oxygen atoms covariantly. Using the diagram that we have here, you see that we have hydrogen uh, from water and we have hydrogen chloride, that is the bond between hydrogen and chlorine. Hydrogen chloride dissociates to hydrogen and chlorine. This gives us hydrogen ion which is accepted by water, thus forming a dative bond. Now let's look at a test to see whether we can be able to apply the same same concept. Using dots and crosses to represent electrons, draw the structure to show the formation of the following. That is carbon 2 oxide, ammonium ion, and hydronium ion. You can as well as refer the same same concept in the following and this will help you to uh, in a much better position in understanding dative bond thank you for viewing you're welcome